so let's um, let's go back to the um, uh, radio buttons um, uh, constructor just to see if there's anything else we need to see here so the the framed radio buttons is the the one uh, is the is our window basically is the last uh, class that encapsulates our window so it says set grid layout which does all of that and then just makes uh, the window visible okay so the next uh, set of um, questions, which I think is, is interesting to explore, is what happens when we click these buttons? And, uh, and I mean the, the change color button, right? So this change color button and this quit button, right? So what those two do? And of course, for me to find out uh, what they do specifically let me just exit all the instances that are running right so uh, and I can see that uh, for these buttons for the push buttons uh, what uh, happens is that the listener on their clicks is this which is our uh, frame radio buttons and therefore here's the action performed and this is similar to what we had before. What happens is that um, the signature of this method that handle user clicks for both of these buttons uh, gets an event object, which is generated by the system when the user clicks and is passed to, on to us. And one of the useful uh, parts of that event is that there is a method named getSource and get source returns back a reference to an object which represents our button and of course this is an object but uh, regardless whether it's an object or or we cast it to become a button we can still compare the addresses right because we know when we deal with references to object and we use equal equal sign uh, that uh, comparison operator will compare the actual uh, memory locations um, and uh, uh, what we do here we say if this is change color then we say switch colors if this is quit we say exit all right so exit is not very interesting we know that it's just like an immediate exit but when you look at the switch colors what it does I remember we now have the selection of the color so we say main panel right main panel what's your background and we say when we ask main panel for the background this is the system color and um, uh, if uh, if this is a system color and we compare it with our back current background and it happens to be the system color then we set it to our custom color green orange or or blue uh, otherwise we just basically restore the uh, the, the neutral uh, system color so once again right so it doesn't so if I pick the blue right to be my background color of that specific area and I say switch color right it switches the color instantly but when I say change color again it cycles through the system color uh, and then goes back to blue right so it, it just basically alternates these colors when I when I do my my you know color selections so this is where it's done when it says if else and it says if you already have the default color then go do the custom color if you already have the custom color then go b back switch to the uh, to default system color so that's what the switch color does and it pretty much wraps up the whole application overview uh, so I think uh, we're done with this uh, and the only other thing to, to, to remember is that uh, when you need to update the background color in order to make it to make this to 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 make this uh, change take place immediately you have to tell the window or whoever is the container of the updated uh, updated uh, uh, gadget uh, you need to tell them uh, repaint and repaint there will be the message to the event dispatch thread that the event dispatch thread needs to call the appropriate uh, methods on our windows to um, execute this repaint request right so repaint is basically our um, our cry at the end of this change to say please make sure that 
uh, you make it all visible because if we don't do this it's just not going to happen so sometimes you have to do more things rather than just saying the set background color so sometimes you program your user interface and you when you begin to use those kind of like you know fancier features uh, unfortunately uh, sometimes you have to remember that uh, there are th such things as repaint which force and make sure that um, at that specific time uh, the window gets repainted and that's what you want otherwise it's not going to happen so keep that in mind and that pretty much covers the the behavior of this application uh, so i'm just going to move on to the next example